What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the look of iOS 9 as well as all of the great features from iOS 9 on iOS 8.4 or iOS 8.3 right now. So I know we're going to be sticking to these firmwares for a while. We're not going to be upgrading because we don't want to lose our jailbreaks, but at the same time we also want to have all of the latest features and changes that Apple includes in iOS 9. And in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So as you can see I have a new look of iOS 9 right here on my device, the new icons, and I'm going to show you how to get some of the biggest features as well. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. I am on iOS 8.4 on my iPhone 6 Plus, and let's go ahead and convert iOS 8.4 or 8.3 into iOS 9. Now, first off, we need to go ahead and grab that iOS 9 wallpaper, and I will have a download link for it down below in the description. Go ahead and download it and set it as your wallpaper. This is the most iconic thing about iOS 9. It'll make it look just like it in the background. Next, we need to change up our icons. Now, to get these icons in Cydia, we do need to install winterboard as well as add a custom source now inside of this source which you can find also down below in the description you guys will find iOS 9 icons so go ahead and install this and then let's go ahead and head over to our winterboard settings inside of winterboard just go ahead and select the iOS 9 news icon and iOS 9 wallet after respringing this will go ahead and include these two new icons right here the new newsstand or a news icon it's the same application inside I know iOS 9 doesn't come with it but it's nice to have this look look and the new wallet icon. Now it will not change the actual name. For that, I'm using a tweak called Icon Tool, which pretty much just allows you to change the name on application. So uh, this is how I do, I slide up, go ahead and rename Icon, and I renamed the wallet app or the passbook to Wallet. So that's the one little minor change right there. So next up, we wanna get the San Francisco font. Apple did change it in iOS 9. I'm installing Bida Font 2 and San Francisco iOS 8 in order to get it. Now with Bida Font installed, go ahead and open it up. Go over here to the second category, go to basic, and let's go ahead and select San Francisco iOS 8. So this will respring our device. And in a moment here, we should have the latest iOS 9 font on iOS 8.4 or 8.3. And here it is. So it's a little bit thinner. Uh, it's a very small change, but it is an elegant little font to uh, add. Definitely a welcome change. It looks just like iOS 9. And iOS 9 has an updated app switcher view. So it has rounded cards on it. Let's go ahead and install that. Now this is the closest you can get. I know it comes from the left on iOS 9. And there is a new tweak for that. It'll be an exact replica. But for now, this is as close as I can get. So the two tweaks, we do need to go ahead and install to get this look are rounded switcher cards and a 3D switcher. So a 3D switcher will give it that interactive look of the cards. So now they're rounded and uh, it looks somewhat like the iOS 9 one. Remember, there is a new one called Monarch that's coming very soon and it'll look just like the iOS 9 app switcher cards. So next we need to go ahead and install Cornered. What Cornered will do is it'll go ahead and round everything on iOS 8. So let's say I want to get into AirDrop right here. The menu for it is now rounded just like iOS iOS 9. It's a very elegant little touch and definitely one of those smaller things that iOS 9 brings that looks really cool. All right, so now that we've got the iOS 9 look down, let's go ahead and get into the features. So notably, the biggest change in iOS 9 feature-wise is the ability to multitask. It's a multi-pane view on iPads. So on iPhones, obviously we didn't get it. Well, with this Cydia tweak, you can get it on any device. So it's called Reach App. I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with it. When you go ahead and enter Reachability, it will bring up this view and you can go ahead and multi multitask using this menu right here. So I drag to adjust the screen size. It's very interactive, works very well, and uh, comfortably, and I say this comfortably, access both applications at the same time. No lag that I could tell, it works very well. And this is not just limited to iPhones, bring this functionality to iPads where it belongs on iOS 9. Bring picture and picture functionality exclusive to the iPad Air 2 and iOS 9 to any device using video pane. So with video pane, you can set an activator gesture or be prompted if you want to go ahead and uh, make the video a picture in picture, mine's set to a five finger pinch. So once I go ahead and do that, as you can see, I have a picture in picture video playing and I can go ahead and do anything I want on my device while that's playing right there. Resize it, you know, place it anywhere you want, hide it temporarily if uh, you don't want to watch it and you can achieve that by doing that. So really cool, picture in picture for iOS 8.4, once exclusive feature in iPad Air 2 and iOS 9. So in iOS 9, there's a new feature called back to search. Say you're doing your own thing in Cydia and you get a link, someone texts you, uh, you get a link, click on it, it'll take you to the Safari application. Well, back to app is pretty much the same thing as a last app, say I uh, get redirected to mail. Now, if I wanna go into that last application where I was at, before I got distracted, just double tap uh, the status bar or any activator gesture that you set, and boom, you go right into the last application. It saves a lot of time. Time. iOS 9 introduces search functionality in settings. Well, we can get that easily with search settings. So add a search bar 
two settings that you can go ahead and find toggles, pretty much everything you need using this search function. With power saver mode, you can get that battery icon introduced in iOS 9 in settings. And inside there is a low power saving mode, which you can enable. And all of these features right here will be enabled. You'll also get that yellow battery to indicate the low power saving mode is enabled. This does require a custom source. Now there's two additions to the keyboard in iOS 9. One first off is showcase. It's a Cydia tweak that differentiates between lowercase and uppercase keys when the shift key is pressed. So as you can see, they do shift and that's a feature added in iOS 9 you can get with showcase. iOS 9 introduces that two finger trackpad on your keyboard. Well, with one finger, you can easily swipe through keys just like this using swipe selection and select using the lower ones right here. So super cool. Add the ability to draw natively inside of the notes application using not nine and inside you'll find this little paintbrush icon and you have to go ahead and select show paper so this is free but you can buy more paper backgrounds if you'd like so using this tool you can easily draw manipulate uh, photos and then put them simply inside of the notes application right here now iOS 9 also introduces a whole bunch of new emojis and these emojis are flag emojis so if I actually scroll down to them Every single country in the world now has a flag emoji. Well, Emoji 83 Plus will add all of those new flag emojis to iOS 8.3 and 8.4, as well as a Spock emoji. So now you're all up to date on emojis. iOS 9's most revolutionary feature is the ability to delete alarms by just sliding instead of having to edit them to delete them. So now you can get the same functionality using edit alarm, you know, slide to delete alarms in 8.3 and 8.4. So in iOS 9, conversation photos, which were once exclusive to the iPhone 6 Plus have been added to every single device. Well, you can get the same functionality using Convo Picks. It'll add this to every single device, just like iOS 9 does. Now, iOS 9 comes with a new proactivity Siri Assistant. It'll recommend applications depending on your location or time of day. Now, that can be achieved by relevant apps. It'll put relevant applications in your control center. So depending on the time of day, it'll recommend different applications for you to use. Now, just a couple last features. So in iOS 9, in the camera application, Apple added a couple new features. For one, you can control Control resolutions. Well, with Camera Tweak 3, it's not a free tweak, but you can go ahead and change resolutions for both video, slow motion, and uh, photos. Also, record and torch. While recording, you'll be able to enable the flash unit and turn it off without interrupting your video or having to stop. So guys, there you go. Using this video, hopefully you guys have gotten the iOS 9 look and features found in iOS 9. So uh, there you go. You'll be able to enjoy all the latest features and stuff without actually having to be on the latest iOS 9 firmware. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy this iOS 9 look on your device of course all the features as well stay tuned for many more videos to come subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day guys peace